So let's continue our discussion of international trade. We're going to look to see what happens when the price of the world is below the domestic price. So we talked before that that creates imports, meaning that the amount the quantity of demand is greater than the quantity supplied, and it's being met, that difference, by importing countries. Well, the U.S. is currently talking about this in policy debate right now. So this is June 2018. Is The U.S. president has said that this is bad trade deals for the U.S. And what he's arguing is that when the world price is below the domestic price for a product, in this case steel, Producers of steel are worse off. Producer surplus decreases. What is not heard in the discourse is that consumers are much better off, and in fact, the economy as a whole is much better off with trade. But what we see is remedies now being taken to rectify the situation of having the world price below domestic price. And what's being done is what we call a tariff. That is a tax placed on goods that are imported. And so what a tariff does is it takes this world price and it raises it, meaning that for every good that's imported, you don't just have to pay the price to the producer, but you have to pay an additional price to the government. And what that does is it shifts this curve to be higher, where this vertical distance here is the size of the tariff. So right now we're talking about 25% tariffs, even up to 50% tariffs on certain goods. And so when we have a tariff placed on a good that's imported. What we see now is that this becomes the quantity demanded and this becomes the quantity supplied. So the number of imports decreases dramatically. But what happens to producer surplus? Well, producer surplus under a free international market is very small here. All right, so that's producer surplus. But when you implement a tariff, it's now more expensive to buy from foreign countries, so more U.S. countries can start producing. And we see producer surplus increase. Well, we also see that based on a perfect competition or a closed domestic market, we also see consumer surplus increase more. And then we get this little triangle here, our gains from trade. But notice that this is much smaller than the gains from trade that we had before. So there are still gains from trade when there's tariffs, but they're less than before. We also then get this area here. So if you look at this area, the height of that is the size of the tariff. The length of that is the import. This is what we call tariff revenue. That this is revenue generated for the government coming from the tariffs. Now without tariffs, we would have been, the quantity of demand would have been way, way out here. But it's less. And so we also then get these two little triangles right here. And these triangles are dead weight loss. So a tariff helps produ domestic producers. It reduces the surplus of domestic consumers, but they're still better off than they were under no trade, under a closed market. So we still get some gains from trade. It does generate tariff revenue, but it also then de or it causes deadweight loss. So it's less efficient. And so when you hear the arguments for free trade, what they're arguing is against, let's see if we can highlight this area. They're arguing against this area right here. And this is the area that consists of both deadweight loss and tariff revenue. That's what would have been gained to consumers and producers under a free trade agreement that we lose by implementing tariffs. Now, the, when you ask, well, what's the end goal of tariffs? Well, if you keep raising tariffs high enough, so if here is the world price, 
if you keep raising tariffs high enough, what you end up getting, so if this is your tariff, you end up getting a price exactly at the domestic price such that there is no trade being done. So as tariffs get high, it takes us back to a market that's the same as a closed market, which means we're at total surplus of right here. But what we then lose is these gains from trade that we could have had on the international market. <gasps> market, and so we're less efficient than we could be. And so the argument for free trade is that it increases total surplus of a given market. And what a tariff does is generates revenue by increasing the world price to a world price plus a tariff.